Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, this is how to set up your Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. So, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna be on the welcome screen and you want to do this when you're in a Wi-Fi connection. I repeat, you want to do this in a Wi-Fi connection because if you're in any other area, really you're just not going to get the same restored experience as you normally would have. So I would go under US English for me, and then I would connect to my reliable Wi-Fi connection right here, which I will tap right there, and then I'll just type in the password. Now once it connects, it will move on to the next step. Now it's connected, now we can go next. You can agree to everything you want uh, for it to collect data or not. That is up to you. Uh, really it's just for statistical analysis. So if you don't want to have the privacy, that's fine. And then you just agree. And now it's just checking if there is any software updates. Now, if you have an older Android phone, it will have NFC and you can tap the phone back to back, meaning you can tap your old phone and tap this and this will send over everything from your Google apps, including all of your apps and your data from your apps. So this is a really great feature and one that I recommend doing if you have an Android device. If not, then you would move on. For this intensive purposes, we will skip this feature and then go to the next setting. Next setting will be to sign into your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you will need to create one just simply because you cannot download any apps without your Google account. So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm just going to sign in to my Google account. And once you hit next, you will end up typing in your password. So that's what I'm doing now. And then I'll hit accept. And then it will be syncing up my account information. Now, once it finishes going through here, what it usually will ask is if you want to restore this device from another device. So I have an S6 Edge that has 155 apps. Do I want to install everything from here? I can even select all of the apps that I have here. I can select which ones I want to transfer over. For this intensive purposes for here, we will just set this up as a new device and not restore from previous device. You will then be asked if you want to use your lock screen. We will skip that for now, skip anyway. And then we're going to set up and go next. And from here, you're going to want to set up your Samsung account. Now you can just simply create one with your Google ID. That's very simple and easy. But why do you want a Samsung account? Well, for certain things. One, it will locate your device if you ever lose it. Two, you get exclusive things from the Galaxy App Store. Like for instance, if you download the Kindle app from the Galaxy App Store, you get a free book every month. You have the free backup and restore, which restores things like your text messages, as well as other things. So it's a really good way to back up for text messages and email accounts and things such as that. And your training tracker, so you can see how your exercise is across all of your devices. So you won't lose any of your S Health information, you'll just transfer right over. So I'm just going to sign in to my Samsung account. And then I'm gonna enter in the password. And then once I sign in, I can back up and sync. So this will just uh, leave that on so that I can back up at a later point or I can download the backup now. So right now it's going to search all my other devices with a Samsung account in there. Uh, this is again the same S6 uh, that I had 
uh, Essex Edge that I have, so I can just restore that one if I want. I won't for now, but it's something, again, you can do. You can also set up your wake up command. So this will just be um, high galaxy in the beginning, but you can set it to be whatever phrase you want and you can use Samsung's S voice with this if you like it. So I do not want to set it, I will do that later. And I will add a fingerprint later. You can from here go into easy mode and if you are not familiar with smartphones, I definitely recommend easy mode because it's much easier to use than anything else. Minox is a great way if you want to separate your work and your uh, personal life. So your personal life will stay on your main phone and then you have a secondary phone which is just dedicated to your work which is completely separate. This is great for people that are in business that don't want to have their corporation see their entire phone or don't want to have a lock screen that their corporation requires. This allows corporations to only wipe out the Knox side as well and they'll never have access to your full phone. And then you hit finish, and then you're done. Your S6 Edge Plus is fully set up. Thank you guys for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.